day are generally triggered by rainfall, but they could be triggered by seismic events. They're extremely fast. So when I say extremely fast, faster than Usain Bolt. They initiate in the mountains and they usually travel a long distance down the slope. Roughly one third of the world's population lives near mountains or steep slopes and is thus vulnerable to at least some degree to the threats posed by landslides. In fact, it's estimated that they cause up to $400 million in direct and indirect annual costs in Canada alone. So now an Alberta-based company has developed a risk management tool that it says can model how certain types of landslides will play out nearly anywhere on the planet. Let's check it out. We're able to reliably predict how far the runout's going to be, um, how deep it's going to be along the path, and how much damage it's likely to do. Debris flows are a type of landslide where water combines with soil, rocks, and vegetation to form a fast-moving slurry that can travel great distances down a slope. Debris Flow Predictor is a new program designed to help communities mitigate risk by simulating debris flow events at different scales. Climate change was part of the catalyst for its creation, with heavier rains and increased wildfire activity expected to increase landslide activity in the years ahead. There are common ongoing debris flows in, in post-wildfire scenarios in California and, and Colorado, for instance. Wildfires can burn soil and vegetation so severely that a hydrophobic layer can be left on top of the soil. This allows water to flow freely down the landscape until it begins to accumulate somewhere, eventually breaking through that landscape, taking debris with it. Probability of debris flows goes up post-fire by between 50 and a few hundred times. Guthrie highlights barriers and ditches as ways of protecting communities from debris flows in addition to building away from their path.